Hi, how are you? Welcome back. El Rushmore serving humanity simply by showing up. Uh, President Trump is uh, is on Jeff Sessions case again. He's now demanding Jeff Sessions investigate Obama. And I have to tell you, folks, this this makes total sense to me. And I want to go to audio soundbite number four. I need to thank Sean Hannity. Uh, Sean Hannity played a clip from this program from last uh, from Monday on his uh, Fox TV show last night. And he was uh, he was discussing the the uh, if 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 the Russians have been indicted here. And by the way, the Russians indicted in this this uh, intersert research group, Internet research group, the Russian government is not affiliated with them. Not officially. I mean, the head honcho of the Internet Research Group or Association, whatever their name is, he knows Putin. But the, the, the Russian government is not connected with these Russian trolls. Oh, and I'm also, I was very happy. Rich Lowry has a column today that I ran at National Review, New York Post, making another point that said, I've been pointing out since last week, since this Mueller indictment happened, that the Russians are pikers. Compared to us. Do you know that the, the Hillary campaign spent over a billion dollars, the Trump campaign just under a billion, so there's figure two and a half billion dollars on the campaign. The Russians spent two million. And the most of it came after the election. Most of their Facebook money was spent after the election. Facebook admitted this. The Russians were a drop in the bucket compared to the disinformation, the lying, stinking social media that's run by Americans out there. The difference is that since the Russians are, are foreign, that makes what they do illegal. But because of the First Amendment, Americans can go anywhere and say whatever they want. And the amount of disinformation and the lying and the stinking and the endless parade of human debris that's all over social media dwarfs whatever the Russians were. The Russians weren't doing anything that Americans haven't been doing on social media for years. And yet all of this focus on the Russians tampering in our elections. As I say, CNN is out there trying to track down people who were fooled by the Russians. What do you mean fooled by the Russians? CNN needs to be tracking down people fooled by CNN. CNN got fooled by the Russians. CNN, MSNBC are there promoting the anti-Trump rally after the election, the not my president rally that the Russians did set up. The Russians sponsored it. There's CNN, MSNBC promoting it and urging people to go. And then when the event happens, CNN's there and making stars out of all the attendees. I mean, they were colluding with the Russians in an anti-Trump rally. CNN. The real collusion, as everybody knows now, is Hillary Clinton and Fusion GPS and the law firm they used as the cutout, Perkins Coie, C-O-I-E. They were the paying agent. You bring the law firm in for attorney-client privilege. So Hillary commissions essentially a work of art, the dossier. And this Christopher Steele guy was hired by Fusion GPS and paid by the law firm to go out and produce this dossier and make it look like it was legitimate intel. And then John Brennan, CIA, and Clapper at National Defense, they all work together in acting like it was legitimate intel. They go get a FISA warrant to surveil Trump based on this dossier, which is a political opposition research. Look, you know all this. So Trump is saying, look. There wasn't any collusion here, and it's just been announced. Mueller said that none of this the Russians did had anything to do with the outcome of the election, and that any activity the Russians had with Trump people, they were unwitting. The Trump people didn't know when they were interacting with Russians if they were. So Trump naturally is claiming a bit of exoneration. He says, but wait, there was collusion between somebody in Russia, and it was Hillary Clinton and Democrat Party and Barack Obama and his Department of Justice. So the question has come up, well, if Mueller can indict the Russians, why can't he indict Hillary and Fusion GPS and Christopher Steele? And the answer is very simple, and it's also very sneaky. 
take a look at that indictment. This indictment is written very, very craftily. It is very, very good in it, it, it's, it, its disinformation. The indictment describes all of the things the Russians were doing to try to interfere in our democratic process. It describes the trolling and the way they were using Internet bots and other bad actors to influence the American people to think one way or the other. But then when you get in the indictment to the charges, you see that the charges are not any of that. No, the Russians are charged with mail fraud. The Russians are charged with wire fraud. The Russians are charged with defrauding the U.S. government. The Russians are charged with identity theft. The Russians weren't charged with interfering in American elections. So there was a knee-jerk reaction. Well, hey, doesn't this open up Hillary and steal and fusion GPS? Doesn't this just make them the next start? No. Because Hillary and fusion GPS... Mail fraud, wire fraud, defraud of U.S. government, identity theft. Ha! None of that's applicable. And so Sean played the clip of the radio show from last Friday. It was Monday, actually, where we described this. Because there were some people that were all hot to trot on this, that, that it, it had to mean the logical conclusion that Mueller had to next go after Hillary and steal and Fusion GPS. Rush Limbaugh hit an amazing point on his radio show yesterday about why Mueller only indicted the Russians for certain crimes. He nails it. This is brilliant. Take a look. The things these Russians were charged with in the Mueller indictment are wire fraud, defrauding the United States, mail fraud. These Charges that the Russians were hit with in this indictment have nothing to do with the avowed purpose of the special counsel investigation. Literally nothing to do with it. And if these Russians were charged the way everybody thought charges were going to happen, then they could charge Hillary and they could charge Christopher Steele and Fusion GPS. But they can't be charged just because the Russians have been, because the charges are different. That's why they didn't go after the FEC issues. That's why they didn't go after the FARC issue. What Russia is saying here is brilliant. It's that Mueller may have been shielding Hillary Clinton by limiting the charges announced against the Russian trolls, because all of that could have been applied to Fusion GPS, Hillary Clinton, the campaign, Perkins Coie, and the rest of them. Brilliant point. Right. It, it, and that should have been an indication. Thank you, Sean Hannity. It, it, this is a great indication of what Mueller is doing. He is protecting the Democrats in this. He's protecting Hillary. He's protect, protecting Steel Fusion GPS. And by extension, he's protecting Obama. And so this is uh, it's it's a uh, very understandable that Trump would now say, Jeff Sessions, where are you, buddy? It's like the fourth time I've had to ask this. Where are you? Why aren't you investigating Obama and his administration and Hillary? There's real collusion with the Russians there. And, of course, there is. So I, 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 I just uh, have to remind everybody, the answer to all of these questions, why doesn't Mueller do this? Why did Mueller do this? Trump remains the target. He has always been the target. He will remain the target. The express purpose of what Robert Mueller and his investigation are up to is getting rid of Donald Trump. That was why the special counsel was hired. That was the intention of James Comey after he was fired. He wanted a special counsel. He wanted Mueller. He got it. Mueller was not given a crime to pursue, so basically he has a legal fishing expedition with no time limit and no financial constraints. And the objective remains to rid Washington, D.C. of Donald Trump. That has not changed from the day after the election. It remains the objective today in terms of this specific investigation and everything else that is ancillary to it. And they don't take a day off. 
Now, they're announcing indictments of these fringe figures that you never heard of, like the lawyer from Skadden Arps in London and Carter Page, who's now announced he's going to sue the government for one dollar to try to get his reputation back, because he didn't do anything. And Manafort remains in the crosshairs. But none of this that has been indicted, none of these guys did anything during the Trump campaign. All of this stuff predates the Trump campaign and certainly predates the the election. Special counsel is hired. Somebody is going to be charged. Special counsels don't close up shop after two or three years, say, you know what? We didn't find anybody did anything wrong. It never happens. And so you announce the small fry, and it creates eager anticipation, and it builds the excitement for when the real action is coming. And what I think the real action is going to be is an extensive report on all that Mueller has found. It will not be an indictment of Trump. What there will be, essentially, is a document that people like Adam Schiff can use to begin impeachment proceedings in the House. And all of that predicated on the Democrats winning. 